after a repair trip in Liapari, we decided to go back to Lola to chill. Little did we know we would have the most special encounter over there, which would completely change the rest of a Solomon trip. that they know everything there is to know, where to anchor, what there is to see, who to talk to, etc, etc. So we're really glad to be able to tag along with them. And also they're very nice people, so that gives us company for the journey, which is good. Right now we are trying to get out of the first lagoon and I've got my Colorado sunglasses to help us uh, spot the Burmese. And unfortunately we still only have the one engine because we thought we fixed the starboard engine, but turns out this didn't work, it's still overheating, so we can't use it. And that's a bit of a bummer because it means that we are very, very slow. But yeah, right now let's try to get out of this first lagoon and go to Morovo. The Morovo Lagoon is the world's largest saltwater lagoon. It contains hundreds of beautiful small islands and it's surrounded by coral. We're gonna go north of New Georgia Island and enter the lagoon in Yuppie Island. lagoon but we can't make it in one go so we stopped along the way and right now we are in uh, Enagui Inlet. We spend the night here and this morning we're gonna go and explore the area a bit before we go again. We don't really want to stay here more than one night because the anchorage isn't that great. We are in deep water and very close to a drop-off so we are a bit stressed as usual. Apparently we're gonna see guns. <laughs> During World War II, this area was occupied by Japanese when placed four naval guns on the coast at this location. Two of them were facing the Kula Gulf and two of them were facing the inlet. Part of the afternoon looking for crocodiles without success, we sat down with the locals to take a look at their work. Wood carving with Shaolin Lei is an ancient tradition and fully part of their culture. It is also very important to them as they use the money to live and educate their children. Because we are against the wind with only one engine, not sure we're gonna make it. So we have a few options. We're gonna try and do a few things again for the engine to try and fix it. So we'll see what we do. We are finally reaching. 
King Livy Arbor. It took us an extra day, but we are there. So what are you up to this afternoon? Oh, I have to wait for the people who go and... Uh... What is that? A present. Mm -hmm. Who got that to you? That girl that came over. She's really nice and she's really funny and she got me that present. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> we still couldn't figure out the engine. So because we are only doing three to four knots in average, it took us an extra day to reach UP Island. Take it easy. Lower. Take it easy, back to you. Okay, I'm almost at the entrance to Ubi. Uh, we'll be in wait for you. Yeah, okay, we're following uh, your track and we put all the waypoints. Yeah, okay, well, we've got to go in and go around the back of the resort uh, behind. There's a long reef that runs around. We've got to come in and find an anchorage somewhere it's easy enough to do um, okay just keep an eye out on the on the entrance as I said the reef comes out a little bit towards the center on the southern side and you go past the, the jetty and just keep on following around anyway if you're right to do that I'll keep on going in otherwise I'll wait for you all right yeah you can go in we'll, uh, we'll put all the waypoints and keep an eye on, on the track you're taking and it should be good. We finally made it to UP Island and you can see behind me is the resort which we're gonna go and explore. I think we're also gonna sign up for some dives here so we're probably gonna do one or two dives and I don't know maybe snorkel around the island see what there is to see in the water and enjoy! Just spend some time here a few days at least the not so fun part is that we are also gonna give another go on the engine so they have a workshop uh, in the resort we're just gonna take the engine out of the boat because i mean we can't find what the issue is while it's in the boat so hopefully we can find something when it's in the workshop try and fix it and use it maybe who knows <laughs> all right let's go
As much fun as it was, it's now time to get back to the engine. How many people are we bringing back to Australia? Yeah. <laughs> how many can fit in the? How many people can fit into the engine locker? <laughs> hey, Yarn. Yeah. Yarn. Yeah. Look up here. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, the guys completely took it apart to clean every inch of the engine. They blew compressed air everywhere just to make sure there's no blockage. Okay, you're coming out there. And they really looked at everything apart from one part, which is the head gasket, because as soon as you open it, you need to change a part which we don't have a replacement for. Alright, time to get it back together. Uh, we couldn't find anything very obvious, but hopefully just cleaning and blowing air everywhere will do the trick. And now it's time to test it. So the engine is coming back. <laughs> Newsflash, it still didn't work. So our only guess is that there's something wrong with the head gasket and unfortunately it's not something that we can fix while in the Solomon Island. We've been in the Solomon for about a month now and um, I mean, it's a super chill country. It's really good, we're really enjoying, but we've had so much issues that it's kind of taking the fun away. So all of the boat stuff to fix, but also like, kind of like plenty of little things like the fridge breaking down and you know like little non-major things. We've tried to go to Onyara which is completely east of the Solomon but with the engines against the wind it was just, just not possible so we decided not to go and that means that we're kind of changing all of our plans so Initially, we wanted to do all of the Solomons and then go to Vanuatu and then New Caledonia to stop there for the cycling season. But instead, we're going to stay on the west part of the Solomons and then go back to the Louisiade, which technically we didn't really do, and then go back to Australia and stop in Australia for the cycling season. And we're going to try and enjoy the rest of our time in the Solomons and I'm sure we're going to enjoy the Louisiade as well. Alright guys, this is going to be the end of this video, but don't forget to join us next time to see the rest of our trips through the Marovo Lagoon. Special thanks to our friends from Lola, without who this video wouldn't have been possible. Not only did they let us follow them through the lagoon, but they also really looked after us and they made the whole trip so much more fun with a lot of unforgettable nights. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe, make sure you click the notification bell to be notified every time we post a video and we'll see you next time!